After he had dinner with my patriarch last night, Masumi Arakawa left Heian Tower alone. So he must have been shot on his way home. Any idea who did it? I put my money on an Omi loyalist. Pretty sure I'd win that bet, too. Hell, there were shootings in Sotenbori, too. Attempts on Captain Watase and Daigo Dojima. Are they okay? Yeah. Apparently, they had some ex-Tojo legends with them. Can't ask for better bodyguards than that. No kidding. And yeah, that does point to Omi retaliation. Uh-huh. You and your pals should be careful, since you were on the Dissolution's front lines. The Remnants will have a bone to pick with you. Yeah, that's for sure. I'll pass on the advice. Can't believe this shit anymore. The Omi wiped off the face of the earth, all because of the stupid Arakawa family. Idiots blew up their own inheritance. Their betrayal cannot stand, Sawashiro san. Remember how we used to be sister families with the Tojo clan? We had bases in Kanto and everything. Of course, the only reason we helped Arakawa-san push the Tojo clan out of Kamurocho in the first damn place was so our family would survive too. Because we're sick and tired of the Tojo demanding tribute money just to let us keep land we'd already been living on for years. If that had kept up, we would have been crushed, just like any other family without their own territory in Tokyo. That's why we work with Arakawa in spite of it being disloyal to the Tojo. Exactly. And who's going to keep any of the promises Arakawa made? He promised once he was at the top of the Omi Alliance. He would promote us to the main family. Are we just supposed to accept that won't happen now? Listen, you whiners, quit your belly aching. I won't let the Omi Alliance die. We'll just give it a new name. My Kanto Senpai. I know we've caused a real shit show for you, but I promise we'll pay you back in full someday. And for now, all of us are asking your forgiveness. Well, just so you know, it's not like we're asking to cut ties to the Arakawa family. We'd like to keep things friendly, if that's possible. Of course! After all, it was Arakawa who was the brains behind the betrayal. And now that he's gone, I'd say the score is settled. If you need us, our door is wide open for you, second patriarch of the Arakawa family. Thank you for your understanding. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> you think the score's settled? You backwater scumbags don't deserve to be called Yakuza. Excuse me? You want to repeat that? Sawashiro, you fuck. I can get the Arakawa family back on its feet without you. Easily, in fact. All I have to do is unite the Omi already here in the East. You're way out of line! Arakawa fucked up! His captain should be on his knees right now! Stop! What are you doing? You know, 
Guys like you are all bark and no balls when it's wartime. That's the kind of Yakuza I can't fucking stand. Only a few years ago, you were sucking up to the Tojo clan. Then Arakawa changed his colors, and there you were at his feet. Now he's dead, and you think you can pull a senpai card on me? Talk is cheap. The Yakuza way to lead is with bloodshed. The weak always fall in line behind the strong. Help me! Time to accept it. Among the men in this room, you represent the weak. And that goes for all of you! I fully intend to start a new chapter for the Yakuza as the Tokyo Omi Alliance. I hope we can count on your support, Senpai. What makes you think you have any right to pull that shit? You haven't known me very long, but I think I've made a pretty strong case here for what I'm capable of. <laughs> Convince me. I'm not the type of Yakuza who's gonna sit on his hands after his patriarch got removed. What's your point? Right now, I don't know if it was you or some other Kansai punk. But I will gut the man who killed him. You have my word on that. There will be no mercy. The fuck are you saying? Every thug out there on the street knows that you killed your boss under Hauke's orders. You think picking a fight with me is your ticket to the big time? You see yourself as the guy on top at the dawn of a new age for the Yakuza. That ain't gonna fly. Sure. I'll give you until I've rounded up all the stragglers in Tokyo to make your move. Until then, keep sucking on the Omi's dried up teats. Sorry I'm late. You guys always go this hard on kids? Where's this brat of mine you say you've got? Arakawa-san! The little fuck damn near took our guy out! We can't just hand him back to you without some compensation! Somebody's gotta take responsibility! I see. Well... How about a finger? I'll trade you my finger for him. Sound fair? I'll just borrow this. <sighs> All right then. Let's go, yeller shit. That's your phone, man. This is Hoshino. Chairman. You okay? Yeah, I guess. You don't sound okay. You eating well? Uh, no. Then start. A poor diet won't help with the grief. Meet me at Heian Tower. What for? That's the last place I saw Arakawa-san. I'll treat you to what he ate as his final meal. Uh, thanks, but right now I... Just be there. Fine. I'll be waiting. Chairman Hoshino wants to meet? Yeah, at Heian Tower. 
Are you going? Yeah. Maybe he'll tell me about Arakawa-san's last moments. Oh, Jungi Han. If you're here drinking by yourself, I might as well join you. Is that so? Well, I have no reason to tell you no. Do as you like. By the way, Kasuga-san, there's something I should tell you. Hmm? What's up? I was contacted by someone in the Komijur. I have been told a group of people have been looking into me as of late. They seem to have learned that Jungi Han is somewhere in Yijincho. No fooling. What's that all about? You know, we don't have much to go on at the moment. Nonetheless, we verified suspicious activity in my wake. That said, if they come seeking hostility, you and the others may be dragged into it along with me. I appreciate you looking out for us even though your ass is the one that's in danger. There's no need to thank me. I'm the one who should apologize for bringing you such trouble. Seriously, don't worry about it. We don't even know if it's actually trouble yet. Ha. <laughs> You're very kind. So, any guess as to who these guys might be? I can't be 100% certain, but it's highly likely that they're remnants of the Jingon Mafia. Jingon Mafia? Then, they're basically old allies, right? It's hard to say. To them, I'm just cannon fodder impersonating their dead boss. Perhaps they see that as unforgivable, in which case their goal would be to punish me. Punish? It's possible they'd go so far as to kill me. Then couldn't we just avoid all this shit by saying you're not Jungi Han anymore? Maybe so. It's gonna be weird being another person forever. It's probably best to just be yourself, right? If I were you, I'd try to get my old name and face back. Hmm. <laughs> a name is one thing. A face, however, it's not something you can change time and time again. Moreover, I'm still waiting for more information on my pursuers. We shouldn't need to take action just yet. Well, it's your call, so I'm good with that. But won't it be a drag if you get caught with your pants down and you're left wishing you would have been ready? <laughs> right. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Man, you're always playing it so fucking cool. Would it kill you to listen to someone else for once? I'd ask that you refrain from praise. You'll only embarrass me. It wasn't a damn compliment. Hey, Namba! You thinking what I'm thinking? If it's a drink you want, I can't. I have to take care of some shopping. You? Shopping? It's for the bartender. Uh, he told me he'd give me an extension on my tab if I ran a couple errands for him. <sighs> Pain in the ass all the same. Man, you are getting a much better deal than he is. Uh, maybe so. In any case, I'll see you around. Okay. See you in a bit. Running around doing manual labor at my age. Where did I go wrong? It 
So, Namba and Mizue-chan. I assume you're hatching a plan to reunite them? Hold on. How in the heck did you... Eavesdropping on customers has never been my policy. But you two hardly count. You mean you were listening in when Namba was pouring his heart out? Not like I tried to. I just happened to be at the counter and something he said made me put two and two together. What do you mean? There's a bar I go to every so often. Just got themselves a new hostess. I believe her name's Futaba. What's she gotta do with Namba? Well, as it turns out, this Futaba had been a nurse up until just recently. She was telling me about her nursing life at the hospital and in the middle of her story, wouldn't you know it, a medicine theft turned up. She said a nurse who worked there, some guy, admitted to the theft before the cops could get involved. What? But that... that could only mean... I know. She had to have been talking about Namba. If that's true, then the two of them worked at the very same hospital. Naturally, I'd assume she would know when Mizue-chan is leaving. Have you told Namba any of this? No, not yet. Besides, he said it himself. He couldn't reach out to his colleagues even if he wanted to. On the other hand, I'm sure his drinking buddy could reach out on his behalf. I get you. Man, you came strong with that one. But listen, if you do go and meet Fataba, I wouldn't tell Namba if I were you. Yeah, wouldn't want to make it seem like I'm doing it behind his back. I figured as much. So I called Futaba's bar and spoke to the mama there. She said Futaba's on her way. She's on her way here? Wait, is that why you sent Namba shopping? Dude, how do you think that many moves ahead? Bringing people together is what a bartender does. All I can do is facilitate. The rest is up to you. Then I won't let this chance go to waste. Hey. So? My boss said you wanted to see me? Your Futaba-san? In the flesh. <sighs> Am I supposed to know you? No, I just wanted to ask you a few things. Uh, here, have a seat. How long's this gonna take? I'm off today, and I was planning to hit the pachinko parlor. Okay, I'll make it quick. And now, listen, you were a nurse before, right? Yeah, and? One of your colleagues got fired for selling off meds. You remember who that was? God, how would I know? I'm sure you heard something. I'm thinking he's a friend of mine. Look, the only thing I know about it is that the guy was some four-eyed mope. Oh, that has to be Namba. <laughs> that name does ring a bell. Hey, hon. No way. Shut up! They raised the jackpot?! Babe, do not let anyone sit there! I'm on my way right now! Before you go, tell me, do you know anyone named Mizue-chan? As she worked with you at the hospital and- Who even cares?! You're wasting my pachinko time! Wait, we're not done! Hey, guys. Namba, hey! Back already? Man, you shop quick. Yeah, well, I forgot the shopping list, so I had to come back and get it. Anyway, who was that walking out of here just now? Did you say what? I couldn't see her face or anything, but wasn't there a lady just in here? Nah, you need better glasses, man. Nobody came in or out of here, right, bartender? Uh, yeah. Huh? Is there a reason you two are acting suspicious as hell? Whoa, let's tone it down, buddy. Could it be the two of you were conspiring to throw me a surprise birthday party? Uh-huh. You knew I had a birthday coming up, so you two must have gotten together to plan the whole thing out. Uh, yup. You got us, man. Now the surprise is ruined. See, I knew it. You always go over the top when it comes to these things. So, what kind of party are we talking here? Give me a hint. Sorry, man. Top secret. You can't even give me a hint? Sure would cheer me up. It might now, but wouldn't you rather save some excitement for your birthday? Hmm. I wouldn't be opposed to that. They say hunger is the best spice, and, uh, a suspense is the spice of birthdays. Totally. So how about you kick back and let me spice this birthday up? Alright. 
I'm convinced. I'll try to be patient. There's a champ. Trust me, it'll be worth it. As soon as I'm back from the store, we are drinking! I'll be here, man. Oh, and you better not pull some I forgot my wallet crap again. Shoot. I actually did forget my wallet. <laughs> this guy. I want you to know, last night, Arakawa seemed at peace. Like an actor stepping off stage to thunderous applause. I think that's because he achieved his goals. He dissolved the Omi, and he got to see you again. He certainly looked like he was enjoying his Peking duck. I commented on it, actually. Can you believe this? He said he'd never had it before. What? He said he almost got to try it 50 years ago, but then... his father was killed. And he'd never gotten around to ordering it again. Huh? After we finished, I said I'd walk him to his hotel, but he refused the offer. Said he wanted time alone to just take in the night air. I didn't push it. I just bid him a good evening and left. But if I had pushed it... He'd probably be alive right now. I failed him. No, it's not your fault. Let me ask you something. Do you think it was only loyalists? Yes. No doubt in my mind. It was revenge for his role in dissolving the Omi. Men who saw fit to end someone's life over such a thing. How could Yakuza do that? Kill a captain like him? Kasuga. The Omi loyalists in Kanto are already attempting to form a new faction. They complained the loudest about the dissolution. I imagine one of them is the likely culprit. Forming a new faction? After killing Arakawa's son? Yes. Care to hazard a guess as to who is directing them? Because I think it's the one man who could actually bring them to heel. Ryo Aoki. No. The young master? Ordering the death of his own father? He wouldn't be the first to commit patricide for power. The one silver lining is, with Arakawa gone, there's very few men Aoki can give direct orders to.
Kasuga. You should take revenge for Arakawa. I can lend you men from the Seiryu clan. I don't need guns. You won't seek vengeance? No. Arakawa-san wouldn't want me to kill the young master. I'm sure of that. Then, what will you do? Before he died, Arakawa talked about how sad it was the Yakuza were getting used. Used like pawns by people in power. That's why he disbanded the Omi. I think he wanted the Yakuza to go back to their roots. Like how they ought to use their power to help the weak and vulnerable, not just take shit by force. That's how it was. That's how it could be again. Arakawa-san had a dream, and I can continue it. If all I do is kill one guy, especially if it's his son, all of Arakawa's sacrifices will be for nothing. If that's the only thing I do to honor him, I won't be able to face him in the afterlife. <sighs> what I really want to do is open the young master's eyes. Give him a wake-up call. Smack him upside the head if I have to. That's the best thing I could do. Kasuga. Arakawa was truly blessed to have you. Do what you think is right. I'm sorry if my idea of payback offended you in any way. I assure you it did not, Chairman. How do you plan on getting an audience with Aoki? You can't just walk into the Tokyo government office and ask to see the governor. <laughs> it's all good. I think I've got something figured out. You can pull a plan out of your ass just like that, huh? <laughs> Still, going anywhere near Aoki will mean tight security. Take some of my men. At the very least, I'll bring your body back. I appreciate the offer, really. But I'll be fine by myself. I've already got the best crew I could ask for. Jeez, you waited for me? How'd it go? Fine. Sorry to run off and get treated to a fancy meal without you guys. Well, looks like it put some pep back in you. Yeah, I figure if I keep moping around, Arakawa-san's gonna come down and kick my ass. But anyway, how about we go visit Kume? Visit Kume? Why? To make him arrange a meeting. I want to meet with Aoki, and Kume's got the hookup seeing as he's Ogasawara's replacement. Sure, but why do you... I'm going to get him to start thinking and doing things like Arakawa-san would have wanted. Uh, sounds like a long shot. What makes you think Kume will cooperate with you? Oh, did I leave out the part where we rough him up? I mean, the guy deserves it. Hell yeah, he does. I'm in. Get out the bloodhounds and let's start the search. No search required. Today is announcement day. What's that? The deadline for every candidate to submit their paperwork. The political brawl has begun. Man, do you know everything? The fate of the Great Wall hangs on this election. Why wouldn't I be following it closely? Do you know where Kume would be on announcement day? Well, each candidate will give their first speech in their district, usually on a huge stage. Kume's district, Kanagawa second, has a massive stage by the gate on Isisaki Road. Let's head over to Isazaki Road, then.
watch me. Take this! I hear you're going to a vocational school. Yeah, can't say I ever saw myself doing it at this age, but it feels pretty good when you pass a test. Huh. Think there'd be something for me there? I'm not certified in anything. How about a chef's license? You're pretty good at cooking. Hmm. I'd probably want something a little more fitting. Are there any certifications for uh, assassination or shit like that? I'd like to take that test as well. Perhaps I could start at level two, huh? Guys, are you freaking serious right now? Well, the crime lords cackle with glee. Virtuous law-abiding citizens are cowering in fear. What's become of our once great nation? When did morality become the butt of the joke? can deliver this country back into the hands of her upstanding citizenry! I am Sota Kume, and a vote for me is a vote for change! Ten. After all we've been through, I'm actually starting to agree with the guy. Come on, what he's saying is a load of crap, no matter how drunk everyone is on Beach Japan Jungle Juice. That kind of drunk can mess you up as bad as my kind. Tragic way, Kume is just another name on Aoki's long list of victims. Hmm. Our enemies don't deserve our sympathy. Good point. Let's get him. Hey, mind letting us through? Excuse us. Hey, you can't just barge in here. Oh, sorry, sir. Could you just let us... Don't I know you? Oh, yeah! You were a bodyguard in the parking lot! He's not the only guy we've seen before. There's a bunch of Omi here. Well, look at that. You saved me the trouble of tracking you down. Time to pay for that shit you pulled in the parking lot! Not a loser! Watch me. You're in Take it. Hey. Fight. Try this! Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Bring it on. This down! How do you like me now? Yeah. Not yet. You're done now. Good fun. Ooh, good times. I feel the stats going up. <laughs> yes. Look at me go. Sweet. I 
did interfere, did you? Well, not today. I doubt this was the only speech Kume's giving today. Where's he going right now? His campaign stops and stuff are listed on his website. The more people, the better. But I can promise you ain't getting close to Kume. Will he not talk to regular people? No. But don't worry, he's gonna win. Governor's orders. All y'all's been blacklisted as threats. You better get ready for the takeover. Boys than I could count are rolling on over here to Injincho. Whole place will be swarmed. You won't be able to take a shit without us knowing. Fuckers! Aoki's always one step ahead of us. <laughs> I certainly am. I realize there's no precedent for a governor to intervene in national politics. But there's never been a precedent any time we advanced as a society. What about your critics who say you're just too young? That national politics is no place for schoolyard debates? <laughs> Are they implying local politics is some kind of playground? No, I don't think they're saying that. How about we take another look at the survey results? 80% of respondents said they support Governor Aoki assuming the role of party chair. The principal reason for their support was the success of the Kamrocho 3K plan. Do you have any comments about that, Aoki-san? I couldn't have achieved the amazing results of the 3K plan without the Tokyo Metropolitan Police. That was how cooperation between law enforcement and local government should look. What about the Yakuza still in Kamurocho after the Tojo clan's collapse? There are rumors that a delegation of Kansai Yakuza have filled the void. By Kansai Yakuza, do you mean the Omi Alliance? Because I recently heard that they are officially dissolved. Yes, that is confirmed. But doesn't that in fact prove something else? Doesn't it prove we can reduce Yakuza activity without a risky policy like the Kamurocho 3K plan? It's not a risky policy. Not compared to the risks of letting Yakuza run free. I'm sure you've also heard that Masumi Arakawa, an officer who spearheaded the dissolution, was murdered. So you see, it may seem like this was a peaceful process, but I think it was anything but. As always, the underworld keeps hidden its dark, unseemly truth. On the other hand, the Kamurucho 3K plan didn't involve any murder at all. My plan was the perfect example of a peaceful process, accomplished with my expertise from Bleach Japan. Speaking of which, the Citizens Liberal Party is endorsing quite a number of Bleach Japan candidates this cycle. As party chair, what are your priorities? I want to rejuvenate the Citizens Liberal Party. The Bleach Japan candidates are young and brimming with energy. By harnessing that energy, I know we can bleach all the gray zones in this entire nation. This bastard's using Arakawa's death to win an election, after all but pulling the trigger himself. It's disgusting. Just when I thought I couldn't hate politicians anymore, he gives me a reason. Guys, remember the mission. Kume's going to give another speech somewhere, so what do we do? Well, judging by how it went down here, we won't be able to lay a finger on him. Sounds like you're in a tight spot. Chairman? So, you figured your best path to Aoki was just to scare the shit out of Kume? <laughs> Guilty as charged. But they're always one step ahead of us. Anyway, what are you doing here? I forgot to give you something back at Heian Tower. Eh? K. 
can't think of what that be. What is it? Kazuda, did you already forget the task you entrusted to me? The task I... Oh! Finding a candidate! Yes. Remember the whole point of collecting all that money to make Kume lose? Yeah, did you find someone? Someone who can win? Well, I searched far and wide. But you didn't find anyone. But then, all of a sudden, it hit me. Yeah? Lay it on me. Kasuga, you should run. What? I only wish I'd thought of it earlier. Wait just a second, back it up. Why the hell should it be me? I don't have a snowball's chance in hell of winning this. True. I doubt you'd even get enough votes to qualify for the return of your registration deposit. So why would you want to flush three million down the drain? Now the money doesn't matter. It does to me! Three million yen is a deal if it gives us a chance to catch Kume. I'm not really following, Chairman. In every election, the candidates drive around in their trucks giving speeches. The district's not that big, so they frequently run into each other. When they do, it's customary for them to wish each other luck and shake hands. It's a farce, of course, but it's custom. That's your chance to get close to him. So if I run in the election, I can walk right up to Kume. Compared to Kume, you'd be a nobody, what they call a fringe candidate. Since Kume's victory is assured, he'll be expected to be a good sport. That includes not turning you down for a handshake if you ask for one. He can't just say no? If he did, everyone would say he acted like an arrogant jerk to the underdog. Bad press spreads quickly. And public opinion changes with the wind. You see how perfect it is? This is how you corner Kume. See, your original plan was to make Kume lose. But now the plan is just to use him as a stepping stone, correct? Uh, aren't you guys forgetting something? Ichiban did hard time. For murder. It doesn't matter what's on your record. Once you've served your term, you can run. What do you say, Kasuga? Mm. I wish I could tell you to take your time and think it over, but time is a luxury you don't have. The deadline to announce your candidacy is today. You have to decide right now. Then, I'll do it! Seriously? Just because it's legal doesn't mean it's sane, but... Then hurry to the election office and get your paperwork done. It's the government, so naturally they close pretty early. Wait, what time is it? Holy shit, guys, we gotta hurry! Let's run! Where's the election office, anyway? In the Nishihama building on Carriage Highway. Thanks! Worn some tights. And while we're on the subject, what's the difference between tights and stockings? To put it loosely, stockings are thin and tights are thick. That's it, huh? I guess it's uh, like how boxers are different from boxer briefs. Huh? Those are different? Hmm? No, no. Uh, actually, they're uh, not really that different, are they? Well, I mean, boxers are more like shorts, aren't they? Don't bring shorts into this! Alright, that just makes it more confusing. I guess we don't know shit if we can't tell the difference between two pairs of underwear. 
Hey, don't beat yourselves up. It's just underwear. Then what are these that I'm wearing? Wait, I don't want to see that! Not gonna happen. One of the locations for a movie I saw last year. Lover of Hama, I think. You guys seen it? Nah, never really got the chance back when I was on the force. If I had enough money for a movie, I had.
Thank you. <laughs> Take care. Elections are the cornerstone of a just and fair democracy for all. Running for office as a publicity stunt is trampling all over that. And yet, Ichiban Katsuga, an ex-Yakuza who served 18 years in prison for murder, has for his own personal gain decided to taint this sacred election with his candidacy. It's a sick joke! Listen to that. Sounds like he got the jump on you. Uh, you think? Strange that his campaign caught wind of the plan. But they're definitely trying to ensure you won't ever get near him. How? The whole reason Kume would have been obligated to shake your hand was because you were going to be the brave, noble underdog. But now he's trying to paint you as a villain, so he won't need to show you any respect. Oh, I get it. Well then, you know what? It's time to clear my name. Excuse me, everyone. Thank you for the introduction. I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Hey, there he is! Turn the cameras on him! Seriously? A murderer? Running for office? Can you believe it? It's ridiculous. You heard it? He's a murderer! I gotta hand it to my opponent here. He's such a generous guy. He's basically advertising for me. A total unknown. Can't wait to check my campaign's followers after this. Thank you so much, Kume-san. This is exactly what I was talking about, folks. He's got nothing but sarcasm and one-liners. Why won't this ex-convict take our democracy seriously? Ex-convict? You trying to say someone who broke the law can't run? That I've lost the right? Naturally! Well, it's true. I was in prison for 18 years. But the law says anyone can run, no matter what crimes they've committed. I'm standing here because my application was accepted. If you deny my right to run, then who's really disrespecting the law here? That be you, right, Mr. Law and Order? I, uh, never said... I never said anything about the law. Oh, so you're admitting the laws aren't always so perfect. I... well, in this case, it's strange, isn't it? Bleach Japan loves going around telling the rest of us to follow the law. But how do we follow laws that aren't just? Isn't that kind of a paradox? Well, laws are what you need to... Are you asking all these fine people to just accept that paradox? In this case, we must! I see. Well, that sounds like a gray zone to me. <laughs> Kume-san, people don't want to break the law. They really don't. But just like the law ain't perfect, neither are humans. They both exist in gray zones. Part good, part bad. <laughs> I mean, just one little mistake can send you down a slippery slope. It happened to me. I made a mistake that led me to this city. Luckily, I was rescued from that mistake, but not by the law. I was rescued by the people who live in the gray zones. And man, they didn't ask for that life. They got the raw end of a deal. They were never given a real choice. 
They want to be proud, hard-working members of society, as much as anyone in this crowd. They know the law is important. I do too. But we also know some things are more important. <laughs> people don't exist to serve the law. The law exists to serve the people. We ought to remember the words in that order. Don't you think, Kume-san? Kasuga knows what he's talking about. He's got my vote. Yeah, I like it. Go Ichiban! He's telling it like it is. Give him hell, Ichiban. We're with you. Where do I donate to Team Kasuga? Screw that Kume guy. He's a leader. Kume-san, I think we can have a healthy debate in this campaign. Let's do this election fair and square. Why don't I come over there so we can shake on it? Yeah? Retreat! Retreat! Wait, what's the problem? Kume-san, you were in the middle of your speech! Wait, Kume-san! In a strange turn, this impromptu debate has ended with Kume, the frontrunner, making a quick retreat. The former Yakuza, ex-felon candidate, Ichiban Kasuga, has been generating buzz on social media. Useless! Kume, the staff, and even you are all useless! The only reason this happened is because you neglected to take it seriously. Enlighten me, Sawashiro. Why are you acting so strange? Got something to report? For now, we've decided to reorganize under a provisional name. The Tokyo Omi Alliance. We have sufficient manpower and resources. So I'll be assigning titles to... I'm sorry, are you under the impression you're the chairman or something? Huh? No. You had power in the Arakawa family. But I can assure you, it wasn't because you were competent. Kiss enough ass, anyone can get a promotion like you did. You haven't had a spine since the days when you were following me around like a lost dog. I've taken pity on you because we had a history. But enough is enough. The new Tokyo Omi Alliance needs a chairman who understands how to wield power. Well, that's what I am. Huh. A bold claim. I'll give you 24 hours to prove it by killing this man. What? If you fail, well, I assume you know the consequences. Yep. <laughs> What's up? John, when's your birthday? Hmm? Oh, it's April 7th. Oh, yeah? And what's your favorite food? Hey, so it's not so it with her, see? Cute girls are kind of his downfall, and Eri chan definitely fits the bill. All right, I got it. Eri chan you're a Black Panther. Huh? A Black Panther? That's a little fortune-telling trick that gives you an animal based on your birthday and interests. I'm a chihuahua myself. Ooh, and hey, you and I are a good match. Holy shit, is he really using the oldest trick in the book? Right? Fortune telling <sighs> flirting is really dating him. Mm, actually, I prefer pandas. Wouldn't you rather be a panda? Huh? Well, I, I don't know about that. I mean, <laughs> that's not really what I'm getting at. Oh, that's too bad. Ah, 
Wow, talk about striking out. And a chihuahua? Seriously? Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Yep. <laughs> Listen. Hey. still hasn't noticed us. Musun <laughs> Idiji? Moragu? Your support means everything! Thank you very much! Thank you! Yo! <laughs> it's Kasuka! The other candidate, Ichiba Kasuka, is here! Get cameras on him! There might be another debate! Kasuga, will you continue yesterday's debate? No, I think Kume-san took enough damage yesterday. I actually came to make peace with him. Why would we ever make peace? Hey, it's hard to talk in front of all these cameras, you know? Wanna talk in private? That'll be way better. Let's just hop into your van here. Nice ride, by the way. Okay, okay, give him some space. Kasuga-san! 
Yeah? Chairman Hoshino's life is in danger. Huh? The Komijul got an anonymous tip that the Seryu clan is going to be attacked. Chairman Hoshino is the target. And Song Hui said there's something suspicious happening at the Seryu clan. The chairman? Why oh, him? I think we need to put a hold on the Kume and Aoki mission. Yeah, we'll be back. <laughs> What? Hey, are we done with Kume already? Something's going down. It's urgent.